the kind of music that fits in a museum, which is different from the kind of music that fits in a keller or something. And it's different from the kind of music for dance. Of course, a lot of dance. And it's different for orchestral writing. Um, the orchestra, for example, is a very conservative group of people, generally. But also, it's very big, and you can't move very easily. You can't do things, difficult rhythmic things with an orchestra. It's just not possible. There are too many people trying to, to do it. So you, it, has a, it has its own kind of language, and it has its own audience, very much so. Um, so with this piece, I just thought, well, I was asked if I would do music for an exhibition. And the first thought that occurred to me was, there is a problem with music in art exhibitions. Because I've done music for openings of art exhibitions in particular. And there, there for openings, there are at least two problems. One is alcohol, I mean, which is a big problem. And the other one is the fact that if there's music, everyone goes and tries to and stands around it. And then those people who don't stand around, can't get there, stand over here and talk a lot. And, they, and the louder the music gets, the louder they talk. And it's all that way it ended up, everything I'd done before was a disaster because the music was, in fact, a distraction for some people and, and an irritation for some. And basically, it, it was like, um, I don't know, it was like opening a loud window or something. And it just drew people into different groups and, and didn't work with the exhibition. So I thought, number one, the most important thing, if I was doing music for an exhibition, would be that the music would be in several places at the same time. So at least the audiences are spread through the exhibition. You don't want to have four rooms of paintings and everyone standing here and not being with the painting. That seems to be a contradiction. So I decided to put to do three different groups in three different spaces to spread the music out. Then, because of the way museums and galleries are constructed, there are no doors, I had to then decide that the music must make sense. If you hear, if you're in this room, you will hear that room and that room, but you'll hear them differently than if you're in that room. So it had to make sense for no matter where you stood. And I also thought it would be quite nice then to have maybe the music stopped here and it carried on there. So people are encouraged to move and to move around the space, to use the music like the, the Pine Piper of Heaven. Mm -hmm. Because it's interesting, as many as there is music, people do go towards it. They want to see what's happening. So so the, the, the fact that it was to be in an exhibi exhibition already determined a lot of stuff. I was not going to have, you know, one person playing drums. It just wouldn't work. Then I decided um, to have three different, because the groups were spread 